Hi everyone, welcome back to my egg fast seven day journey and it was amazing. I can't wait to share everything with you guys. After this video here, I'm going to tell you my weight that I lost and then after this, you're going to see my ketone strips. Now I put in mine, my brothers and my nephews just to prove that after years of keto, you can still turn those strips a color. A lot of people say they don't work anymore. The problem is, is they are overdoing uh, carbs, but we have been doing it for many years. I'm almost four years in. Uh, my brother is five and so is his son, my nephew. Now we all were doing um, keto. We were all doing the egg fast. Um, my brother wasn't doing it as much as me. My nephew wasn't, but I've got all of their ketone strips in there to show you. The very first one though is two of mine. One is what I normally sit, just to show you guys that I do still sit in a color. I still am in keto, just not as dark. But man, when you're in an egg fast, man, can you get dark. I got as dark as dark can be on the ketone strip. And that's these strips here. And there is how it goes. That is negative, And as it goes up, they get darker and darker. That is the highest ketones you can be burning, which is the highest fat burning mode you can be in. But anything over this negative color here, you're in keto. And I think my color was right around here to here all the time, but you'll see all of us were right there between those two colors. You're not gonna believe it when you see that. And that was from egg fasting. Um, like I said, my brother didn't completely egg fast and neither did my nephew, but they still have enough fat on their bodies um, I don't have as much, when you don't have as much fat on your body, um, it is a little harder to get the color darker without eating a little bit more fat, but when you're trying to lose weight, obviously you gotta keep the fat down and continue to use your body fat. Um, exercise is a big thing too. My brother was a person that exercised a lot, but you know, with work and being a single dad, it's really hard for him now to do that. So um, he, you know, he's got a little bit more extra fat on him now. He's gained a little bit of weight, not anything bad or anything, but he's gained a little bit of weight. And my nephew put on a little bit of weight. He kind of went off keto for a little bit, um, but he goes on and off of it, you know? So, but anyways, it just proves that the ketone strips do work because we've all been keto for years and years and years. Uh, we have cheat days once in a while, but that doesn't mean anything. A lot of people are gonna say, well, that's why the ketone strips work. That's not why. They work if you stay in ketosis and keep the carb at 20 or less. A lot of people don't understand that. When you first start ketosis, um, you are going to show a color, even if you are eating over 20 carbs. Some people eat 30, some people eat 40. You're going to show that because it's a change in your body, and that's what I was explaining. But after a while, all of a sudden, the ketone strips don't work anymore, and people not, are not understanding, but they're still eating over 20 carbs. And they're thinking, well, it worked in the beginning. Why isn't it working now? A lot of people don't understand about the hidden carbs. There are hidden carbs. Now, there is a method to that, and I'm going to throw it in this video. My brother explains the method, how you figure out what... When you see something zero, you can figure out, is it truly zero? He it does a little voiceover. It's a little voiceover. It's just a black screen, but it's a voiceover. He tells you exactly how you calculate that and how you figure out if it truly does have carbs in it or not, which is awesome. So it's going to teach you guys. So certain things like seasonings and all that, you're going to understand all of that because even seasonings have carbs in it if unless you're using just the serving size because the FDA can put zero, but... Who uses just a serving size? A lot of people go over the serving size and then it becomes carbs. So I'm going to throw that little clip in there too for you guys and just listen to how he explains it. If you have to listen to it again, just keep rewinding it and listening to it again so you understand how to calculate that and figure that out so you know what has carbs in it so that you can truly keep your body in that state of ketosis, 20 or less, and then you will show on these ketone strips because the blood strips are very expensive and if you have the money, go ahead. Blood strips are great because it's going to read right after you eat something. You can test your blood. It's going to tell you right away. But these take time because it's got to get into your bloodstream. It's got to do everything it's got to do. So it takes hours and hours to test something. But still, it's a lot cheaper. These are only $6 for 50 strips. These ones here have 100 strips, so they're $12. Um, but still, it's a lot cheaper than $50 for those and then you when you buy the strips they're fifty dollars it's a dollar a strip you get fifty strips so it's a very expensive to buy the blood ones and you don't have to worry about buying those unless you have the money to do it these work if you're doing ketosis correctly so and then you guys are going to see our strips and you guys know you've been with me for a couple of years so you know i've been doing keto a couple of years i've showed you i show you all my meals i do uh, mukbangs and all that for you guys so you know i do keto um and i've told you about my brother he does this as a job he's been doing keto for five years i've showed you photos of him his kids everybody we all do keto so you know that i'm telling the truth it's 
not a lie. So these strips are not a lie when I show you the color of them. And even in some of them, you can see my fingernail in there. So you know it obviously was just tested because you see the design I have on now. It's the one you would have seen today. The other one is the purple one I did for Easter. You're going to see them holding them. So you know it's not a lie. I have no reason to lie to any of you. My biggest goal in life is to help each and every one of you understand keto correctly and get your weight off and get healthy again because... You know, like my brother had said the other day, he wrote something on Facebook. This is not a fad diet. This is changing America. Finally, people are getting their weight off, keeping it off, and living healthy lives. And so it's not a fad. It's not like all the other ones where everybody gained their weight back and everything. This is not a fad. This is how it was our ancestors, how they ate. Bible time, everything. We're starting to learn how to eat. That's the problem. We just didn't truly know how to eat. We didn't know that our body needed fat and not carbs. We needed, you know, the fat to be able to live a healthy life. And if you have fat, like I've explained before, you use that first as your high fat source to get it off. Then once you get there, we're going to eat fats. That's the healthy way. Carbs were the ones that caused all us to gain weight. We had the time that we did the low fat and everybody was gaining weight and having high blood, you know, blood pressure, high sugar levels, all of that. We're learning as we go along that our body actually needs fat because our body is made up of fat. Even when you're as thin as me, I have fat in my brain. I have fat in my body. And I don't mean just because I have fat on me that I'm talking about that I want to lose. I'm talking about we actually are made up of fat in our body. So that's what we need to eat so our body can constantly be burning fat. That's what it needs to do, whether it's burning it on your body or burning the foods that we put in our body that are fats that we eat, and that's what keeps us healthy. So if you look up, I mean, you can just Google, is fat bad for you? And you will read so many times going down that fat is not bad for you, that it's proved now that it's actually the carbs that are bad for you. And we're learning that as we go along. So it's just incredible that this way of life is changing America. Finally, we won't be doing that 99% will fail anymore. It's going to be a higher rate that will succeed. And that is just amazing. And that's why I, you know, I share all these videos with you guys and why I wanted to do this egg fast because I, you know, was going through a hard time um, with that move and everything. Um, I'm one that does not do a lot of cheat days. In almost four years, I've had nine cheat days. And uh, a couple of them were right before I moved. So I had put on a little bit of water weight when we got back in here. I went into maintenance mode, lost a little of the water, but was kind of maintaining that, that weight that I had been putting on. Like I was kind of eating over calories. I was kind of putting on a little bit of weight. Now you guys all know that I had been in the 130s. My lowest weight was 134 was my lowest. So I was getting so close to the 120s. And from the move, the stress, the anxiety, everything that I was going through, I was actually putting on weight, just proving how fast you can. And that was still doing keto. I was still doing keto, but I was eating over calorie. I can eat around 2,000 and maintain weight, but I was definitely eating over that. I was definitely doing that. And so I, was, I kept going up and up. And then I had a few cheat days, lost that little bit of water weight. And then I went to my brother's and did a marathon a couple weeks ago. And I went up to as high as 152, you guys. I cannot believe I had seen myself at that weight just proves again how easy it is to gain that weight it's very scary so that being said you know I knew I would gain from that because I gained like I think five or six pounds just from water there that's what put me over the mark because I think I was sitting right there at around 147 148 so I had went over I went to 152 I'd gained that water now I came back I started doing um maintenance mo I mean um one meal a day took off the water weight or whatever, but I just wasn't losing because it's just hard when you're trying to lose. It can take months and months and months when you're down to the last few pounds on your body. I mean, they say my brother did his calculations. My brother does this as a job. He said, everybody's going to be different. But he said, like for me or like Monica, who's doing it right now, we would have to eat a thousand calories a day and work out at least an hour a day to lose two pounds a week. Two pounds a week is not that much weight at all, but still that's pretty good but we have to do with a thousand or less calories and work out an hour a day to be able to do that quick, okay? Meaning it's even slower than that if you don't do it that way. It's even slower. It's going to take so long. But in this egg fast, you guys, I lost eight pounds in seven days. I lost more than a pound a day in seven days. Isn't that unbelievable? I lost eight pounds. So I now am at, I lost a little bit of the water. And when I started, I was at 148 
I am now, I mean 147, I am now 139, you guys. So I'm back into the 130s. I am definitely going to do this egg fast again because I want to get back to where I was and still trying to hit the 120s. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, I see that it goes a lot faster when you do an egg fast. An egg fast is amazing. Um, not only does it help you burn the highest belly fat and fat on your body because you see my ketone strips, you'll see the difference in color how I was so deep into that ketosis. It burns so much. There's just something about those eggs. Uh, yes, I was doing one meal, but it's something about the eggs. So you can do more than one meal if you're heavier. You could definitely do one, more than one meal. I was doing the one meal because I was keeping my calorie at a thousand or less. Some days I went a little over because I was doing my fat bomb in the morning, which is just my MCT and my stevia. So um, I some days went a little over a thousand, but still I lost eight pounds, you guys. It's just unbelievable that I did that in seven days. So I definitely want to do it again because I want to see myself get back to where I was at 134 and then from there I want to try to see myself in the 120s and I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. But this amazing egg fast is not only amazing how it burns the fat like I talk about in the belly fat because I just feel so thin but and I'm not even at my original weight yet but what it does is will set you into that high stage of autophagy and finally for once in my life now I have done fasting like this one meal a day it hits that autophagy stage but never once have I ever felt the way I did yesterday my seventh day last night I started cramping so bad in my stomach and this does take time it was my seventh day it does take time I cramped so bad in my stomach and I had to go to the bathroom now sorry for the too much information but I got rid of stuff out of me that had probably been in me for 40 years I was unbelievable what came out of me. And I'm not trying to be gross. And I'm not even going to describe it to you guys. You guys will just know if you do this. Um, it is disgusting. Disgusting what came out of me. It's just unbelievable because I had hit that autophagy stage. I was releasing out toxins out of my body from egg fasting and all of that. And I thought I was getting the flu. I thought I was getting sick. My brother said, nope, it's from that egg fast. You finally hit that stage of autophagy. You were releasing toxins and getting rid of things. That's how great eggs are for you. So... It was amazing, you know, like I wasn't even mad about it. I just thought, oh, I hope I don't have the flu. But I was just so excited that I hit that stage and I just released all those toxins out of my body and everything and just was just doing amazing. Now, through the journey I did through that week, I did mention to you that I did feel a little bit of that cramping one day. So I just made sure that I was keeping up with the no salt. You'll see that in the photos, what the no salt is. You'll see it. I do it. I have it in the photos of the ingredients of things and then I have it in there. That is just what you can buy at the local grocery store. And I was doing a fourth teaspoon in that. I did cramp up a little bit because because it does make you go to the bathroom a little bit more when you do the salt and that together. It will make you go a little bit more to the bathrooms, plus egg fasting does too. So I cramped a little bit by about the third day, so I stopped the potassium. Then you'll see I was only doing salt. Um, so that, I got a little cramping the one day. Then the next day, I actually got um, a little bit of that weakness, the fatigue, the dizziness, all that, because I was going to the bathroom so much. So I just increased my salt, and I did do two days where I did the salt um, a teaspoon of salt and eight ounces of water and drank it down just to give me the electrolytes back. I felt great by the next day. I was doing great. And then by the, um, I did it one more day. I did, that was on my fifth day. So my sixth day, I felt great. And on my seventh day, I, um, on my sixth day, I did it again, the salt thing again for my, or no, on the seventh day I did, sorry. On my seventh day, I did the salt thing again. So I did it on the sixth and the seventh day or the fifth and the seventh. I'm sorry. Cause I felt better on the sixth day, but because I had released so much on my seventh day, um, you know, like I said, autophagy, releasing all that stuff when I went to the bathroom. My brother recommended that I just do a potassium and a salt drink together just because I was feeling a little bit weak, almost like I had a flu-like symptom. So he told me to do a, uh, I just did a fourth teaspoon of the um, no salt and a fourth teaspoon of salt. That's all I needed. Took that down and I felt great. After about an hour, I felt great. So yes, so just to know those are things that you want to watch for and things like that when you are doing the egg fast because you are going to release a lot of fluid, especially if you are much over more of a weight than I am. I was just slightly overweight. Um, and now I'm bit, you know, back to a BMI of 23. I want to get back or a 20, a 24. Sorry. I want to get to that 23 again. 23 was when I was at 135. So I want to get back to that to a 23. And then I want to hit the 120s. I'd like to see myself a 22 BMI. So that being said, I am at a normal range for BMI right now, but I'm on the high end. Okay. So I want to get to the lower end of the, you know, BMI. I want to be a lower end, but yes, this Egg Fast has been amazing. Definitely try it out, you guys. You can do it exactly the way I show you in the photos and do it exactly the way I did it throughout that week. I did copy it once I did. I thought I did the uh, fried eggs twice. I did the, um, the deviled eggs twice. That's what I did. Other than that, everything else was different. So I did scrambled eggs a couple times, but, a, you know, different ways. So 
But there's so many ways to do it. So you can copy what I did. You can do your own way. You can do deviled eggs every day. You can do scrambled eggs every day. You can do egg salad every day, however you want to do it. Or you can copy the way I did it. If you copy the way I did it, you get exactly then the calorie count, the fat, the carb, everything. And yes, my fat was a little higher than I would have normally recommended people to eat. But I'm not as heavy as you guys. The people that are losing, and that's what I mean. The people that are trying to lose that are much heavier in weight than I am. But don't worry about that. You can lower it by using low Mayonnaise, where I used regular, you can use low sour cream, where I used regular, you can use low fat cheese, where I used regular, you can use egg whites, where I used regular eggs. So, but go half and half, go half, you know, half egg whites, half with the yolk. You know, that definitely will help you out and you'll lose just as much. But if you want to keep that fat a little lower than what mine was, I think the highest one day was like 91, but I was basically between like 70 and, and 90 was, was my fat count. And for losing, I recommend to, you know people to do no more than like 50 to 70, and you can go even lower than that. You can use your own body fat. So, But me right now is okay for me to be at that because I'm not that overweight, so for me to be there. And when I'm in maintenance, I eat around uh, 100, uh, about 120 to 140 grams. That's what I do in maintenance mode. So, But anyways... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week with me. Sorry I couldn't share all, you know, every day do a mukbang for you guys, but you'll get to see everything in that slideshow. You're going to get to hear how my brother does the calculation on how to figure out if something does have carbs when it says zero, and you'll get to see our ketone strips proving that they do work. Like I said, you see my polish I have on. You've seen the one I wore for Easter, so you know that they are current sticks, so you know that they are working. You know that we've been doing keto for a very long time, and they do work because a lot of people say they don't. I'm just showing you guys different things on my channel just to show you I want to you know, bring real proof and real stuff to the table because I was taught by professionals, and I've studied myself, but I want all of you guys to truly understand and get on board with keto. You don't have to do the egg fast that I did. You can do it for your end, you know, like I did to get the last of my weight off. Definitely you can do that or you can do it throughout your journey to get off even more or before a wedding, whatever. But get on board with keto. It is amazing and I share mukbangs all the time. I have a playlist of so many recipes and I continue to tell you I'm working on that recipe book. Been trying to contact uh, different publishers to publish the book for me um, of easy, cheap recipes that I do. I show you treats, all of that. Get on board, get on the keto train and start living life good and live the way our bodies were designed to eat and you'll get every bit of the weight off, you will keep the weight off and you will live healthy in a long life. And that's what we want like our ancestors did. We don't want to be dying off early. I lost my dad at 48 to obesity. We're not going to be in those same shoes. I can't go through something like that. I cannot leave my child. You know, God is the one ultimately in control of our lives, but we're given one body and we're supposed to take care of it. So get on board with the keto train. It is amazing and you're going to see it's not a fad. It's changing America. There are so many people now doing keto, getting it off, keeping it off, and living healthy lives. And even stores are coming out with so much ketone stuff now, or key, keto. So much keto stuff. So, And it's only going to get bigger, you guys, I promise you. You watch. In a few years, there's going to be breads, bagels. Everything that we ate before that was bad, we'll be able to eat now because it'll be keto approved. Even though we can make breads and stuff now, you watch. They're going to come out with everything because so many people are doing keto now. It is so big. It's not a fad. That's why it's so big right now. That's why everybody's doing it because it works. And it's been around for years and years you know, some of you are just learning. Some of you know that it has been around a long time. hundred years ago, they used it for epilepsy to cure children with epilepsy and stuff like that to help them with seizures. It's been around since our ancestors, Bible time, everything. But we're just learning now in our time about how to eat correctly because all this processed and bad food came in and we didn't know. We don't even know who invented three meals a day. So get on board with it. Get on board with the intermittent fasting, uh, 16 hours at least. If you can do 24 hour, even better because then you're starting to hit autophagy. Try to do fasting days where you go even longer. Try to do a uh, 24 hour and then try to do a 48 hour and then try to do a 72 hour all of that kitchen to those high states of autophagy getting rid of all the toxins out of your body mending and curing so many things and what's awesome about keto is it's almost the same thing as fasting but we get to eat that's what's almost awesome you know so awesome about it so get on the keto train with all of us i hope you will enjoy this video i hope you will enjoy the slideshow of all i you know all i made and ate for that week and the fact that i lost eight pounds as skinny as I am. So if I can, you definitely can too. So everybody, join me and try this egg fast, especially if you're at the last of your journey. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see all of you in my very next upload. And remember to 
always keep it keto. Check out the slideshow. First day of egg fasting. Last day of egg fasting. Uh-huh, uh-huh, ow, talk to him. I mean, sometimes you got people going against you and you just gotta go above and beyond all that. Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you know, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I see you've been watching us. You could try, 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 but you better off. I ain't a spectate from the audience. Why you hating from the bleachers? Cheerleaders is loving us. Grab a pom pom, baby. Last year we was last place. This year we in first. We was hungry for the title. Now we quenching our thirst. You was on your best behavior. Yeah, we on our worst. Killing, killing the competition. Rolling around in a hearse. Earth. Life is like chess, except it ain't a game. Some pawns remain pawns. Some pawns become kings. Uh. Think before you move, think three steps ahead Peep game, protect queen uh. Some rooks get took, some knights get swiped Some bishops get slain uh. I'ma tell you like my homie told me Life is like chess, except it ain't a game uh. So when you got it, want it, you know my team want it You know my team want it, you ain't no Ain't no stopping us, nah, nah Ain't no stopping us, nah, nah Ain't no stopping us And when you got it, want it, you know my team want it You know my team want it, you ain't no Ain't no stopping us, nah, nah Ain't no stopping us, nah, you know my team won it, uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, ow Talk to him I mean, sometimes you got people going against you And you just gotta go above and beyond all that Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you know, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I see you've been watching us. You could try, 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 but you better off. I ain't a spectate from the audience. Why you hating from the bleachers? Cheerleaders is loving us. Grab a pom pom, baby. Last year we was last place. This year we in first. We was hungry for the title. Now we quenching our thirst. You was on your best behavior. Yeah, we on our worst. Killing, killing the competition. Rolling around in a hearse. Earth. Life is like chess, except it ain't a game. Some pawns remain pawns. Some pawns become kings. Hey, most labels that lie only lie about carbs, so. You just look at fat, protein, and then figure out the carbs. Fat is always nine calories per gram, and carbs and protein both are four calories per gram. So whatever the total calories says, add it up. Take the fat, whatever the grams are, times it by nine, and then take the protein, and whatever that is, the in grams times it by four, then add those two numbers together, and whatever is missing from the total calories is going to be the carbs, and for every four calories is one carb. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ow. Talk to him. I mean, sometimes you got people going against you, and you just got to go above and beyond all that. Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you know, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I see you've been watching us. You could try, 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 but you better off. I ain't a spectate from the audience. Why you hating from the bleachers? Cheerleaders is loving us. Grab a pom pom, baby. Last year we was last place. This year we in first. We was hungry for the title. Now we quenching our thirst. You was on your best behavior. Yeah, we on our worst. Killing, killing the competition. Rolling around in a hearse. Earth. Life is like chess, except it ain't a game. Some pawns remain pawns. Some pawns become kings. Uh. Think before you move, think three steps ahead Peep game, protect queen uh. Some rooks get took, some knights get swiped Some bishops get slain I'ma tell you like my homie told me Life is like chess, except it ain't a game uh. So when you got it, want it, you know my team Want it, you know my team, want it You ain't no, ain't no stopping us Nah, nah, ain't no stopping us Nah, nah, ain't no stopping us And when you got it, want it, you know my team Want it, you know my team, want it You ain't no, ain't no stopping us Nah, nah Ain't no stopping us, nah, you know my team want it, uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, ow Talk to him I mean, sometimes you got people going against you And you just gotta go above and beyond all that
Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you know, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I see you've been watching us. You could try, 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 but you better off. I ain't a spectate from the audience. Why you hating from the bleachers? Cheerleaders is loving us. Grab a pom pom, baby. Last year we was last place. This year we in first. We was hungry for the title. Now we quenching our thirst. You was on your best behavior. Yeah, we on our worst. Killing, killing the competition. Rolling around in the hearse. Life is like chess, except it ain't a game. Some pawns remain pawns. Some pawns become kings. Uh. Think before you move, think three steps ahead Peep game, protect queen uh. Some rooks get took, some knights get swiped Some bishops get slain I'ma tell you like my homie told me Life is like chess, except it ain't a game uh. So when you got a one, you know my team one You know my team one You ain't no, ain't no stopping us Nah, nah, ain't no stopping us Nah, nah Ain't no stopping us when you gotta want it. You know my team want it. You know my team want it. You ain't no, ain't no stopping us. Nah, nah, ain't no stopping us. Nah, you know my team want it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ow. Talk to him. I mean, sometimes you got people going against you, and you just gotta go above and beyond Check. all that. Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you know, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I see you've been watching us. You could try, 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 but you better off. I ain't a spectate from the audience. Why you hating from the bleachers? Cheerleaders is loving us. Grab a pom pom, baby. Last year we was last place. This year we in first. We was hungry for the title. Now we quenching our thirst. You was on your best behavior. Yeah, we on our worst. Killing, killing the competition. Rolling around in the hearse. Life is like chess, except it ain't a game. Some pawns remain pawns. Some pawns become kings. Uh. Think before you move, think three steps ahead. Peep game, protect queen. Uh. Some rooks get took, some knights get swiped, some bishops get slain. I'ma tell you like my homie told me. Life is like chess, except it ain't a game. Uh. So when you gotta want it, you know my team want it. You know my team want it. You ain't no, ain't no stopping us. Nah, nah, ain't no stopping us. Nah, nah, ain't no stopping us. So when you gotta want it, you know my team want it. You know my team want it. You ain't no, ain't no stopping us. Nah, nah. Ain't no stopping us, nah, you know my team want it, uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, ow Talk to him I mean, sometimes you got people going against you And you just gotta go above and beyond Check. all that Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you know, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I see you've been watching us. You could try, 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 but you better off. I ain't a spectate from the audience. Why you hating from the bleachers? Cheerleaders is loving us. Grab a pom pom, baby. Last year we was last place. This year we in first. We was hungry for the title. Now we quenching our thirst. You was on your best behavior. Yeah, we on our worst. Killing, killing the competition. Rolling around.